Hello everyone, Chris Reynolds again here at Gospel Missions and Abode for Children. I want to share with you, a lot of times when I put together these vlogs and, you know, if I have one, one person listen to it, so be it. I generally don't know what I'm going to say that, that day or the night before. <clears throat> the Lord puts on my heart or will send somebody in my path that will give me an idea. And he did that this morning as I was praying about what I should share. I called a friend of mine, and it was something about something completely opposite than this vlog. But he was in the car with his daughter, and he shared. she shared with me that she was in school. She goes to a public school. And she was in school, and they're doing a paper on the Ten Commandments. And the teacher asked, you know, does anybody know about the history of the Ten Commandments and what have you? And nobody raised their hand. And... Number one, that's sad in and of itself. Now, this young lady did. She stepped up and she gave the story of Moses and how the Ten Commandments came about and what they are. And two things hit me with this. First and foremost, if these folks, if all these kids in this class didn't know what the Ten Commandments are, that's pretty sad. What was really sad is that the teacher came up to her and said afterwards, I had no idea the history of the Ten Commandments and where they came from. This is the state of our education system. This is the state of our country and our world. We need to be praying harder. We need to be sharing our faith. But this young lady was willing to step out and tell the story of the Ten Commandments and what they mean and what they are and where they came from. Now, do I think that no one in that class knew what the Ten Commandments were? They may not have been able to recite them, but they knew where they came from. I would, I would hope. But what really hit me is that they didn't have the guts to stand up and say, this is what they're about. This is what the Ten Commandments are about. This is what they mean. This is why God gave them to us. And that's the state of our world and our country and even of our church. We're not willing to stand up for the truth. And the Ten Commandments are truth. It's all about loving God and respecting each other. What is wrong with that? I mean, they're hanging in the Supreme Court, for goodness sakes. They used to be in every courtroom. I don't know if they still are. But we've tried to wipe God out of everything. And that's not what this country was founded upon. Yes, it was founded upon freedom of religion. You can be whatever religion you want. But there were some core tenets that we had to live by. And it's a sad day when our educators don't know even the basics of history. Because you can even throw the Ten Commandments into the books of history. It happened. We were given these commandments. The Jewish people were. So what's the first commandment? Love your God with all your heart, all your mind, and all your soul. Do not have other idols. That's not the exact word of it, but it really comes down to, are we doing that each and every day? Are we willing to stand up when nobody else is willing to stand up for the faith? Are we willing to stand up for our beliefs? Are we willing to say, no, that is not true. That is not what I believe, and it is not true. Today, it really comes down, everything's relative. If I don't believe it, then it doesn't exist. That's not true. Just because you don't think it's true doesn't make it not true. Truth is truth. Bishop Strickland said that. Truth is truth. You can't go twisting it. So as we go through our day, let's go out and share the love of Jesus Christ with somebody. And it may be through actions. That's what the apostles did. 
They went out and preached the good news. That's what the disciples did. That's what people have been doing for 2,000 years. And doesn't our world need it even more today? The love of Jesus. Let's go forth and shine that light in the darkness. And don't forget, Jesus loves you. Have a great day.